In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a hookup slot for an accessory. Hopefully you've already got Blender set up ready. If not, you'll need to go and do that as well as extract your files into a folder, which I've covered on my channel. Make a folder. So we're going to do the Euro 6. When you've got that folder set up, you're going to go into Blender using 2.93. Make sure your work folder is set up. At the top, go to File, Import, SES Models, Convertibix and BT. Find where you extracted your files. Click on Base and Add Archive to the list at the top. And click on Import. Get a list of folders, Vehicle, Truck, Upgrade, Bottom Grill, Choose your Truck, and Bottom Grill 05 for Dragonfly. All we're going to do now is add one model locator. So Shift and A, SES object, model locator. Go to the front, G and Z, and sort of put it in the middle, and then move it back so it's almost flush with the bar. If you expand the drop down here, it's called ML. We want to rename it slot underscore zero. Make another one, Shift and D. Enter, move that along, make sure it's good bit of practice actually. This one is in the middle. We click on this one, minus 0.2, and rename this to slot one, shift D to duplicate it and enter. Rename this to slot two, and that one is going to be minus 0.4, just so they're exactly the same width apart. You don't need to do anything else in Blender. With that anyway, you just want to go to the default export path in the export settings, vehicle, truck, upgrade, bottom grill, your truck name, and you should see PIM and click select. Then click export, back out of Blender, open up your work folder and open up your extraction folder. Go to def, vehicle, truck choose your truck name accessory and your accessory name and then replicate this folder structure in your work folder so make a new folder def vehicle etc And lastly, it's going to be B underscore grill. So shape five is a dragonfly. I'm going to copy, click into our new folder, click on paste. You don't need to change anything with this tool because it's going to overwrite the original model. You don't have to add a variant, a look or anything. When that's done, you can close those. You want to name it in mod package settings at the bottom. Just going to call it Euro 6 Grill. Don't forget to change the game. Should be on Euro Truck 2. And make sure the game object is selected, the X, Y, and Z axis. If not, click up the name up here. As long as you see that, you're good. Then click Pack. Take a second. Literally. You're done. Go to Steam. Load up Euro Truck Simulator. Sorry if this is a bit quick for some people. I've just Sort of got it down so I know what I'm doing. But it's really not too difficult to follow. Go into your mod manager. Make sure it's enabled. Alright, vehicle browser, truck browser and go to whichever truck you've done. We've done the, uh, doing the Euro 6. Accessories, level girl guard, dragonfly. And as you can see, we've now got three hookup slots, or accessory slots as you want to call them. So you have a light chrome there, light chrome there, light chrome there. So now when you're in game and you drive it, 
that's what you're going to get and they'll light up so congratulations you've just made free hookup slots you can do as many as you want but i'd advise you to always do it like the same width apart so that's on zero that is minus 0 0.2 and this one is minus 0 0.4 and the other way will be 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 just so it's symmetrical and it looks neat and tidy so i hope that helps have fun with it and go mad not too mad though